morning. It's about 8.15 in the morning. Uh, it's up like a rock. And surprisingly, I feel great this morning. I'm not even going to take no ibuprofen. Uh, I'm going to try to make a Neil's Gap today. We'll see, though. Oh, yeah, another thing. Just to uh, clear some things up. Yesterday, I went 22 miles. So it was the uh, 1.7 remaining of the approach trail. And the 14.3 to Justice Creek campsite. So, yeah. And the, uh, I know I keep saying 14 pounds. Uh, that's not my base weight. That was with three days of food and a liter of water. So that was at Amicola Falls where I was uh, registering to have a skill there. So I put my whole pack on there. How you doing today? Good. You? Good. Have a good hike. Huh, that was strange. Seeing somebody go southbound. <laughs> uh, but whatever. They go all directions. Uh, yeah. So supposing I'm down the trail. I'm going to eat my breakfast on the move because uh, Neil's Gap is 14, maybe 15 miles away. Some, somewhere in there. And uh, so there's a spot you can't camp unless you have a bear canister. So the last spot you can camp without a bear canister, oh, my damn my nose is red, it must be cold, is uh, right before Blood Mountain. Anyways, I think I'm going up and over Blood. Uh, we'll see how it goes though. I'm gonna do the 10 to the last place you can camp without a canister. And then from there, we'll make a decision. So, them cool little steps out of logs. I'm going that way. Uh, yeah, pretty peaceful out here in the morning. So, well, that's good. All right, I'll let you guys in. So just climbed out of uh, Gooch Gap. Uh, pretty good climb, I guess. Swept my ass off. Uh, but, look behind me. Oh, of course, the sun's gonna be in the way. Not sure the, the pretty little mountains over there. But, whatever. So, heading back down a little bit, I think. And then, uh, I don't really know. I didn't study the guidebook too much. I just, whoop. I just look at mileage and go. Huh. Elevation don't matter to me. Especially because 2012, I used the Appalachian Trail Hiker's Companion or whatever. And that didn't show no damn elevation, so it was all a surprise. Surprise mountains everywhere. So I try not to let the elevation intimidate me because you never really know. So, alrighty, I'll hit you later. I figured I'd walk you guys down the trail a little bit. Instead of looking at mine at the mug all the time. I can uh, flip this thing around, but check this out. Some epic views. The weather today has been great for hiking. I mean, my hands are a little cold, but I don't think I'm gonna put my gloves on or nothing. Matter of fact, I get a Neil's Gap, believe it or not, I'm sending some more stuff home. Because, uh, I got a couple things I don't really need. And, uh, yeah, my short, my short sleeping pad, the Neo Air X Lite, short, which, it's short. I'm not a very tall guy. And it goes from my head to my ass. And uh, so last night, that's what I used. And I uh, just put my backpack underneath my legs, kind of elevate them up a little bit. Um, yeah, I got a full-size one, full-size Neo Air at home. 
it's not the X-Lite, but that might be, might be getting sent to me. I don't know. I'll see. I'm going to give the short, the short pad a whirl for a little bit more. Anyways, I'm not just going to call it one night and call it quits. So, yeah. All right. I'm going to climb up this bastard all the way up there. So, yeah, I'll, uh, I'll talk to you guys when I get up there, I think. All right, y'all. So I just climbed up uh, out of this gap, which is actually, you know, down there somewhere. But uh, there's a ton of cars down there. So that means a bunch of day hikers. Um, also trash down there, which brings me to something that really irks me when I, uh, when I'm hiking down the trail and I see trash. That's just crazy. Whatever you bring in with you, carry that shit back out. Your car, nearest trash can, whatever. Cause uh, I'm sick of picking up your damn trash. Uh, luckily there was a trash can down there. So I got to dump off some of my trash. That big ass rock behind me. Uh, so climbing up. Came from down there. I'm actually, the trail is up them rocks. So, yeah. Oh, one more thing too. Uh, when you take shit, dig a damn cat hole, bury it. Bury it deep enough, toilet paper and all, or pack out your toilet paper. I don't give a shit what you do. It's gross when you come around a damn corner and see a uh, pile of shit and toilet paper because somebody's too damn lazy to dig a hole uh, shovels are light so deuce of spades may I recommend uh, so yeah just little pet peeves of mine about litter and shit on the trail uh, so yeah deal with it uh, sorry about my little rant earlier but whatever it is what it is so you know when you come up to something like this that's gonna be a sweet view so I'll take you up here with me. Oh, ho, ho, ho. it is sweet. Okay, y'all. Uh, check this shit out. Oh, oh, yeah. Put a picture in here too, because my camera's flipped the other way. It, uh, Back in a little update. Stopped at Jared Gap there for a minute. Um, got some lunch in me. And it's uh, five miles to Neil's Gap, so I'm running for it. It's only one o'clock in the afternoon, so five miles. I should have plenty of time. And uh, yeah, I don't know if you can see through, see through the trees. Anyways, you can't see it very good. Uh, but Blood Mountain's that big. Uh, okay, hold on. Blood Mountain's that big bastard right there. So, I gotta go down, go up, and then go down to Neil's Gap. So, that's the plan. I'll touch base uh, when I get to Neil's Gap. Okay, so, here's the trail. Um, give you guys a little idea of what's gonna happen here. Uh, see this ridge and that mountain right there? So what's going to happen is, whoa, finger looks weird. I'm gonna run, look at that, looks crazy, looks fake. So I'm gonna run down here, come up this bitch, over this ridge, over that big bastard down the other side of Neil's Gap. So that's what I'm dealing with. Top Blood Mountain, made it. Here's your view, everybody. 
and they'll look at me, I look crazy. Heading back down, Neil's Gap, done for the day. Alrighty, coming down Blood Mountain. That climb kicked my ass, but yeah. So heading back down, or heading down, not back, never been there this year. So I'm heading to Neil's Gap. Uh, should be there an hour or two, I would like to think. So, yeah, start this steep ass decline into Neil's Gap. And from what I remember before, it is fucking steep. Yeah, one thing I want to say is, man, all the damn day hikers coming up Blood Mountain, and uh, usually the people going down the mountain get over, so the people going up don't have to stop their, their damn momentum. Uh, not this time. Everybody made me stop on the way up. Ridiculous. So, end of day recap here, uh, 16.8 miles today, which puts me at 31.1 miles into the Appalachian Trail, uh, because obviously the approach trail does not count. So, whatever, it is what it is. I uh, got down to Neil's Gap, had me a nice pizza and a soda. Believe it or not, it wasn't Mountain Dew, uh, it was a Coke. So, yeah, I must have been craving something different. I see my tent right there. And I see all those rocks where every place there's supposed to be a tent stake. Yeah, I couldn't use my tent stakes because apparently underneath that tent right there is a big giant rock uh, just covered up with a little bit of dirt. So my stakes wouldn't do shit. So I had to tie up all the, all the guy lines to rocks, which it worked just fine. Um, not sure how far I'm going tomorrow. I'm just going to play it by ear. Um, I, sh I like pushing myself out here for some reason. Uh, but I probably should wait a couple weeks to be banging out big miles. Uh, let my body adjust, but yeah, I'm uh, not very good at that, taking it slow. So, uh, we'll see. Hopefully it'll all work out in the end. It did last time, so we'll see. But uh, look what I get to wake up to in the morning. Check this shit out. Oh, of course. The damn, the damn camera never does it justice. Trust me, it's sweet. Um, I don't know if I said, I don't know how far I'm going tomorrow, so. I don't know. I'm a little tired. I'm going to eat some dinner. I know. I had a pizza, but I was still hungry. So I'm going to eat more food, drink a bunch of water, crash out, and uh, I'll touch back with you guys in the morning. Have a good one.